Hello hikers, welcome back to African Hiker. I'm Anita. Today we are going for a walk along the southernmost point of Africa in Cape Agalis. The trail begins at the lighthouse and this is the second oldest operating lighthouse in South Africa. Originally it was fueled by the tail fat of sheep because, you know, that's how they did things in 1849. So I have just come from the lighthouse over there. I wanted to go to the top but it was closed. I don't know why it's closed. There's no sign or anything but it's closed. Oh wow. Um, my legs are feeling super stiff because of the hike that I did on Table Mountain. Whew, gosh, my calves especially. My calves have never worked so hard in their life. Like never never anyway so i decided that we're gonna just walk it off because that's the best way for your body to well at least for my body to like get over these things is just walk it out walk it out so today we are walking to the southernmost point of africa and then after that we're gonna walk to the shipwreck yeah I'm excited for the shipwreck. I'm also excited for the southernmost point. I thought that I'd actually been there, but turns out I haven't because I went to Cape Point and that's not the southern point. Like that's not the most south point of Africa. Yeah. Anyway, next on the list, I've already looked it up, is the northern point of Africa. <laughs> One day I will go there. I'm going to collect south, east, west, and north. Like, why not? I'm a collector of experiences. <laughs> okay, anyway, bye. <laughs> It is also the point where the Indian Ocean and Atlantic Ocean meet. I find this rather amusing because, you know, water doesn't meet, it blends. But, you know, whatever, I'm not a hydrologist. You are now at the southernmost tip of the African continent. That's not what it says, but that's what I said. Now we go to the shipwreck. The boardwalk comes to an end, but if you want to see the shipwreck, you must venture forth. I don't know, I can't see the shipwreck. How far is this shipwreck? But in any case, it's good exercise for my legs. Stretch out my muscles. Let's take this little dirt pathway here shipwreck where are you no matter how nicely I'm dressed my shoes reveal my priorities <laughs> It's that, it's the calcium thing. The wreck of Misha Maru number 38. I was giddy with excitement over the shipwreck. Be sure to check out my Instagram for a more personal retelling of that story. Oh, don't touch that, it's a blue bottle. So thankfully the tide is low which is what I was hoping for so we can get nice and close to the ship I want to touch it touch the boat all these little guys they're alive look at this barnacles. little barnacles Ooh, look at that slimy one they're waiting for the tide waiting for the tide I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not from the ocean. 
I find these little things so fascinating when it's probably just nothing. Oh, little fishy! Back to the shipwreck. This was a small Japanese fishing vessel that ran aground on South Africa's notoriously dangerous coast. It is not called the Cape of Needles for nothing. We're closer to the boat! I'm going to the boat! I'm gonna touch it! Look at that. Can you see inside? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I wear these shoes. I can do anything and go anywhere with these shoes. If you happen to find yourself in the Western Cape with a day to spare, go spend it in Agalis. It is a small village with literally like one main street and I don't even remember seeing a robot. Brilliant way to spend the day. So the longest coastline the longest beach in South Africa. All the way to Anniston. 17 kilometers. I tried to record a warm amber sunset for you, but instead I captured a cool stone blue sunset. Click on the link for a time lapse. Cheerios. Enjoy.